Right, good afternoon everybody. Um, week 19 of Rachel Roxy Creations uh, Challenge, Roxy's Challenge, uh, hand stitch scrap booklets. So I'm just gathering, <laughs> as you can see. Um, yeah, because she put some fabrics and stuff in her, so I thought I'd do the same. I've got all sorts of bits and bobs, so um, this is my bits and bobs box. Are you even seeing that? No, you're not. Um, yeah, so sorry, I'll just quickly gather some of these together. Um, yeah, I have kind of done this sort of thing before, but mainly use paper. So um, I thought the addition of fabric was pretty neat. So I'm just sort of finding some, hoping to find some lacy bits as a bit. Um, yeah, so anyway, no timer again. Thanks again, Mari. <laughs> well done for noticing that I'm less stressed. Oh, let's put in some of this, shall we? Um, yeah, it's it's fairly simple, I'll be honest. It's just, um, well, it always looks simple when Rachel does it, but let's have a go, shall we? So what I've got, I've got some nice bits of old music paper here. So I thought I'd, you know, let's just do four. I'm not going to be over ambitious. And I've got some old um, book pages here, which is like butter. It's very, uh, it's very uh, soft, weak, I suppose, would be... Uh, Right, um, yeah, okay, so I don't know, where am I? So I've torn up some bits, oh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if we use them. I've got threads over the back there, fabrics there. We are in the middle of a horrendous thunderstorm, so I'm sorry about the lighting. Let me move the ring light round a bit. Uh, yeah, the cat's even, she's coming here. She was fast asleep on the bed, <laughs> and it's just done an almighty clap of thunder, so hopefully the, uh, um, the electricity won't cut out and the light goes out. Should be alright. So, uh, yeah, let's just layer up some papers and stuff and go for it. Where's my ruler disappeared to? There it is. Yeah, well, I hope everybody's well. Uh, I'll say it's just horrible weather here today. I went out with my daughter earlier with the dogs. I mean, luckily it stayed dry, but... Um, yeah, it's well, I've got a pile of washing I need to do. But that ain't gonna happen today. Just, what else have we got here? It's a bit of an original old, very old book, which again is very thin, but great for somebody to collage with. Yeah, so I hope everybody's good. As I say, um, the uh, looks like we're heading for easing of lockdown. So, oh, that's all positive. But we shall see. The trouble is, it means going back to the office more days a week. But we'll see. I can't remember how many Rachel put in hers. I don't know. Let's put that on the front, shall we? Yeah, so the idea is it's just, you know, a random pack of scrap bits. Say, so I have done them before. Um, and I have, I've put them in my journals, actually, so... Yeah. Well, even Rachel said it's nothing new, so and this isn't going to tear, is it? <clears throat> Help if I got my big sewing scissors out, wouldn't it? But not going to. <laughs> Actually, I'll make that a a flat for the whole length. I think. I even on screen yeah just yeah and then do that and then stitch them and 
let's get this all together. I think that's the right side. Good idea, Rachel. Mixture of fabric and paper. Right, one. <laughs> Going well so far. <laughs> right, this is very old. I don't know if that's going to even fold, actually. That is all uh, proper patina on there. Go very carefully with that one. Okay, let's put that up there. I picked out some pictures out of plant books and things as well. I thought that would be quite nice, something different. A bit of a music book. Good way of sort of getting rid of your scraps, I guess. So, um... I was just thinking about keeping that, but no, I need to keep on moving, keep moving stuff in and out. <laughs> I haven't really got an awful lot to talk about, I'll be honest with you. It's, um, yeah, we're all leading this sort of life on hold at the moment aren't we we're not doing much we're not going on holidays not that i do do holidays i must admit but um yeah it's all a bit blah isn't it <laughs> thank heavens for crafting that's all i got to say thank heavens for crafting got here nice bit of coffee dyed right. let's kind of get you lined up Ish. I've just been watching um, a lot of Bohemian crafting. I don't know if you uh, subscribe to her. She's absolutely hilarious. But Lord, the ideas that she comes out with, it's like, yeah, very, very clever lady. And she's funny as well. She's a good laugh. I don't know if I like that on top, actually. I pulled out some um, Indian, um, Indian, yes, it was Indian, uh, sari stuff. I think, I think these are the ones I got from Cheryl Olive. She's on Etsy. I know uh, Andrea, uh, Artie Mays has had some silks off of her before. I think. Uh, Tracy Fox says as well, so they will have put links in theirs. Right, that's nice. Let's put that scrap in there. Right, two. Oh, actually, I've got some. I've got some little labels. Yeah. Okay, we'll put those on in a bit. Uh, how long we've we been going? Oh, it's only ten minutes. That's fine. 
Sorry, I have to put my hand there so I can see my timer on my phone. Which is behaving at the moment, but I'm not going to curse myself, so... Alright, what have we got here? Just line it up. Because I can't do straight lines, as we know. Pages. I need longer ones for in this one. Oh, look at that, that just fits. <laughs> that was handy. Can get the whole picture in. What is it? Hollyhock. Okay. Come here, my little hollyhock. You are going in this thing. That can all go in the collage box, all that paper. No rude words on there, thank goodness. It's all uh, plant-based plant, plant -based material, shall we say. Just need to wrap a little bit off there. You can go in there. box and you <laughs> we're terrible aren't we we keep everything well I do well not everything I'm getting better at letting it go actually so, because it just becomes too much I mean it's like all the fabric scraps and that um, I mean I'm really glad that I've done all that sewing now and stitched it all together because it was just it was becoming overwhelming and if you've got a lot of scraps, you probably know exactly what I mean. So I'm really happy that they're in um, big lots, you know, if you don't know what I'm on about. I stitched a load of fabric together. Well, I don't know what the hell I don't know how you describe it. Patchworky style, but not patchwork. It's just all together. That's it. <laughs> and it's much easier. <clears throat> easier now to um, work with basically this is a bit of gel print let's put that in there as well which isn't torn straight but you know collage box <laughs> some more pictures here oh see it soon becomes a mess right stay there you I need to keep you there Right. Okay, so if I just trim around that flower, go a little bit wider. Collage box. Oh, wrong way round. <laughs> I was thinking of. Oh dear. Try and tear it the other way. That was ridiculous, Susan. Right, out there. Oh, I did the flower there, didn't I? You didn't tell me, did you? Right, we'll save that for another one. I'll do another one. Um, what else have I got here? Bit of old book paper. I love keeping the plain bits, you know, that you get in the front of books. Because they're lovely to stamp on those, actually, if you're doing words and stuff. So uh, that can go in there, right. Uh, what else have I got? out some sort of scrapbooky paper stuff so let's put a bit of that in there it's 
So you've got new, a mixture of new and old in there. So let's get a bit of my really old French maths book, which is great fun. It has some great symbols in it. For an old book, this paper is surprisingly good still. Put that right at the back and then the rest of the pages can hold it down. Let's have that flower at the front. Because I think we'll have another bit of this lace in there. Um, let's put it that way around. Okay, straight up the middle. No more thunder, thank goodness. I love a good storm. I know a lot of people are terrified of them, but I love, I love thunder and lightning. I love it all. When I was a kid, um, I grew up in the county of Norfolk. If you're not from this country, you won't know. It's a very rural, a bit like Devon, I suppose, really, but. Um, and where the um, house was that we lived in, oh, we just had fields behind us. And I still remember to this day there was a, a a storm coming over, and you could you know you could literally watch it progressing across the fields. And it was lovely. I loved every minute of it. But you know, as I say, I know a lot of people are absolutely terrified. But I'm not one of them. Yeah, I think I think my brother was there with me. We were just stood there watching it coming across the fields. It's very nice. Well, I say fields. It was open, open vista. There was a couple of houses in the middle of it that you could see, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> when I stitch I'll come down a little bit stitch across there or something although I think they're nearly all at the top right I'm gonna stitch these start with this one I think uh, because then if I start running out of time I'm not gonna panic right I had a needle ready and I've got these random threads out let's go play okay this one is unraveling itself all in the box so let's just tidy you up a bit well that's convenient we'll have that knot thank you very much I'm not going to need this much stuff okay where'd that needle just go oh it's on there Sorry, the light is really bright, but I need it because otherwise you wouldn't see a thing today in particular. Right, this paper's fairly thin, so I'm just looking for my pokey tool thingy and I can't see it. I found my Sizzix one, but I, yeah, that's gone walkies. I'll tell you what I have got. I wonder if that'll go through. I've got a really three sixteenth of an inch. I'm just thinking it'll make life easier if it'll go through. Cheap. <laughs> Bobbled. <sighs> Could 
punched it straight, couldn't I? Goodness gracious, Susan. Oh God, that speeds it up. Yeah, if you've got a pokey tool, I think um, just punch some holes. I think it'll make your life a lot easier. And it makes that a lot quicker. Why didn't I leave that longer? Oh, what a wally. Okay, let's go. Get back out that way. double glue on there because this um, thread is incredibly slippery and I think it will work the knot out eventually although that is pulling in fairly tight now all right scissors I suppose it'd be quite nice to leave that slightly longer and put a charm on it wouldn't it I could do that I could do that. I've just thought it, so I'm going to do it. Grab my charms. Because I haven't got many. <laughs> um, butterfly there. I'll put those to the side of me. Where can I go? Yeah, there. Okay. I bet this isn't long enough now, though, is it? Take my glasses off. I might actually be able to see what I'm doing. Actually, I'll leave it for this one. I'll do it on the next one because I've left that thread far too short. So, yeah, that's the idea, basically. And then, um, you know, you can put those in journals and, um, you know, whoever, they can snip those threads and just um, use all the bits and bobs. So, one. Oh, let me... Actually... Just remembered I was going to put a little label on there, wasn't I? I got found these on um, Pinterest again. Really pretty. I didn't. Oh, did I save the link? I don't know. I bet I didn't because I'm a blooming nightmare for that. And then I use them all, and then it's like, oh, I really need some more of those. Slightly dodgy cutting, so let's just ink the edges. I like it, I like it. Oh, I know what else I've got. Hold on. Just thought of those. I made up a load of um, snippets ready to go, like uh, Artie Mays does. Let me. Um, oh, they're literally, literally just underneath my desk. No, don't everything fall down. Oh, yeah, these. Um, I don't know if you've seen the way she does these, but it's just on masking tape, and then you can peel them off. It's on like a plastic folder, so um, I don't really want the. They're quite big those ones. Use your wee little ones, and then you can hold it up like that and. that one on there I think so you just because you started off with masking tape underneath you just peel it off you can just stick it straight on with the masking tape but I do like to put a little bit of glue on there this is not my idea this is Artie Mays Andrea Allen's idea I don't know whether she got it from somebody else oh, I don't know but oh now where do I put it I think just there If I'd have thought about it before, I'd have put the ticket over there a bit. But that's fine. I quite like that. All right. Okie doke. Right. So leave the thread longer next time. Okay. I'm going to carry on cheating. <laughs> that made it so easy. 
So I think this one, I'm just going to do three. If I could punch in a straight line, it'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not going to use blue. Leave that there for later on. These are another one of those random threads that I got out of that big suitcase full of uh, knitting wool that I've told you about. So I have no idea what it is. It looks like a cotton perle, but I don't know. If it is, it's a very thin one. Trying to remember to leave the thread a bit longer this time. both those threads to the front just punch a little hole next to that one yeah like I say if you haven't got a I, th I think that is a th no it's not even a 3 16th it's a really let me see if I can I've got it as an AliExpress jobby can you see the little tiny punch there yeah I can't remember what size it might have been It might have been, I mean, it's one or two millimetre. It's a tiny, but it's great. I used to use it a lot on um, my business cards. If I'd made a brooch or something, uh, and I'd, I used to pin the brooch directly onto a business card. And I used to punch holes in the business card with that, basically, so that you could, as I say, pin, pin the brooch directly uh, onto the business card. So if that makes any sense whatsoever, I'll be very surprised. Right, let's see what I... Now, do I want it on both? I don't quite know how I'm going to do this. I want it to kind of dangle, I think. Oh, fiddly D, come on. I've not been very well today, actually. Um, bit of a poorly... Bit of a poorly tum, so I'm a bit sort of shaky and dehydrated so I do apologize if my hands are a bit shaky so it's entirely my own fault I should not drink coca-cola I know it upsets my stomach but I had some <laughs> so it's completely my own fault so I don't want any sympathy okay I know better but I really really fancied some coca-cola so I had it and now I'm paying the price. But there it is. Sailor B. Okay. I like you on there. Um, have I got a teeny tiny one with a teeny tiny butterfly? But I haven't. You're a bit big, aren't you? You're too big. Yeah, you might be alright, actually. What else have I got? See, by having a clear background, you can sort of offer them up to your project and then you'll be able to see, oh, that one would be, that one's ideal. Didn't see you. Sneaky. These are ever so easy to do. Really quick as well. I'm really surprised how, um, and they're kind of like a desk clearer, you know, you can really just get rid of all your bits and bobs that you may have loafing around on your desk. Go in. Thank you. Just adds a little something something doesn't it try not to stick it over the thread so that 
Oh, see, that's parody. I'll take you off now. Yeah, I like that. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I could stick one of these big, bigger ones on here, couldn't I? Oh, I'll tell you what would look nice is that lady. Let's pre plan it, shall we? Right, she'll look cool. I'll use the green thread again. Might put a dangly, might not. Right, okay. Go over. Um, again, I think just three holes will be plenty. Are you up there or not? You are. Keep it clipped, otherwise it will come apart on you. Now what I want to try and do is get a bow on the front. So let me see if I can work this out as in and both threads will come out the front there. Yep. Yep, that's going to work. So like we do when we're binding, have one one side, one the other. I'm really sorry if the lighting's bad. I've got the... Uh, Look too bad. Just swivel it around a little bit. Sorry, I never even thought to check that. Right, okay, so trim those off there. Where's our lady? Okay, take the clip off now. Come on, off you come. Yeah, if you are curious on how to make these, check out Andrea's channel. Um, uh, snippets, I think. I think she just literally calls it snippets. Uh, making snippets, I don't know. But um, yeah, it was a while ago she did this, but it's really, really easy. And it's nice to have them on hand, isn't it? For when you're doing projects like this, you just quickly whip up a... I need a. It's gonna need a little label there. I oh, know. Think about that. Does it need to go there or up there? No, it needs to go there. Right, cool. Well, that's it. Three. Hurrah. Where are we? Sorry, I just need to... Oh, 34. What do we have? 45, don't we? Right, okay. Let's see if um, see if we can do another one. Not going to rush it, though. Right. Stay, stay there, needle. Um, okay. Do one out of map. Why not? Why not indeed? It doesn't have to be card. I mean, it's you know they're quite robust those ones there. Because once you've um, layered everything up, it's uh, pretty solid. Russia and Central Asia or Southwest Asia. I don't really mind really. 
that's more decorative at the top there so let's just do that one okie doke you're not wide enough well it doesn't really matter actually you're more or less perfect well done doesn't matter what size they are just bung them in do it the other way around here and you can see what you're doing then can't you oh, this is logic I mean, this lends itself to all sorts of interpretations doesn't it i mean you could do i have done actually fabric versions of these where i've laid up the fabrics i think i've still got some left in the shop i'm not sure actually um yeah and you just make like a little booklet of um fabrics great way for you know us that have a stash of stuff that they want to get rid of oh that's funny let's put you in there it's off a music sheet that one um yeah and you can just kind of make a similar thing but with um just fabrics inside which as i say i have done oh hello oops let's hold it a little bit more harder yeah because they're great fun for making up snippet packs and things because it's not music let's have a bit of music inside shall we why not indeed a nice bit of age around the edges of this one very nice i don't even know what was it chopin or mozart I don't know. it was somebody obviously musical let's swap that over because that's got the straighter edge uh, what else do we need what else have we got? Let's have a look. What are you? You're just a random bit of book paper that's had stamping on. So you can go in there. Right, let's find a little bit of fabric. Oh, it's time for a bit of fabric. Um, oh, I don't know what to be. Let's put you in. Laura's, where have you gone? I don't think it really matters which way around it goes. It's a really th uh, s nice silk, that one. Let's put a bit of that in. A bit of sari trim. That, I think, that definitely was Cheryl Olive, I think. It's been a while. Right, I've got an edge here. Do I want that? I don't think I do. I really like the netting, actually. Right, let's use up the last of that bit. And I think we're probably nearly at time. Oh, we've got a couple more minutes. A second. Um, I might just round those corners actually. So it's looking a little bit, a bit too straight, isn't it? my slightly dodgy tearing <laughs> right, that's a bit better yeah prefer that and then 
Are we going to have a snippet on this? What do you reckon? Or should I just stitch it? Let's see if we've got anything that will suit. And if we haven't, then we'll just... Um, you're too big. You're all too big. Oh, actually. Oh, no. It goes the wrong way. Yeah, I did some sort of going that way and some that way and... they're quite right are they that will look just bizarre if I go that way with that one so will that flower one put the key on there actually one more day's work that's what it says there numbers upside down though don't think I can live with that right let's scrap that let's get this sewn and maybe find something else I'd like you all to straighten up a little bit though please thank you uh, where would I need I need to go in the middle then already because I only really need to hold there there and there should capture all of that. Whoa. Oh. I'll do the same again. I might tie a charm on this one. Oh, let's start from the front. Obviously, if you want to tie a bow. I did not punch these straight, even in the slightest. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, it's a bit like a three-hole pamphlet stitch there, isn't it? Indeed. I'm trying to think if I want a charm or let's see what I've got. I've got a whole stack of these blooming things. So. Butterfly bird. Mm. Um. Sorry, I'll be back with you in two seconds. And my tower's massive with all my things in, so I couldn't actually get it under the screen here for you to see. So I do apologise for being off camera for a bit. Sorry, I'm just trying to think how I want to tie this. Stay still, you slippery little sucker. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to put a dob of glue on that one for definite. I think because uh, that really wants to come undone. I'll dry clear. 
Right, I'm going to call that quits. I don't know what time we're at. Let me have a quick look. Oh, 45 minutes. Ah, on the dot. Right, okay. Uh, do I need a little ticket on there? I don't know. There's me little ones there. I don't think it needs it. What do you reckon? No, I'm going to leave it. I don't think it needs it. Right, okay. So, one. Let me clear some mess out of here. That's number one. Sorry, I've still got the glue wet on there, so. Yeah, good fun. Nice one, Rachel. So, yeah, you got your... You just pick out your papers then for your journal. Fun, fun, fun. Right, that's one. That's number two with the snippet and the label. I love. I likey likey. Let me get it out of the light. Actually, it's better lighting then. So yeah, again, you can you can either make them staggered or not. I mean, it doesn't matter. So two. Number three with the oh <laughs> number three <laughs> with the little um, butterfly charm on. Yeah, again, okay, so you just you know you can open them right up. So yeah, that's fun. And that's number four. Oh, I didn't think I'd caught the netting in for a minute. Right, so again with another snippet and a label. Well, you've seen them. So, uh, but yeah, it's got the big hollyhock. Silk, yeah, it's good fun. That I like that idea, Rachel. I like the idea of mixing the fabrics and the papers. Well done. Unless she put lace on the front of hers, but I thought that was quite nice. So there we are. Look at me doing it in time <laughs> and not panicking and just de stressing. Right, I shall leave it there and I uh, hope you have a lovely day. What's left of it? I'm gonna go and have some tea, but I'm finally hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Right, okay. Thanks ever so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.